following presentation is for mature audiences only. Who are you? He's a fine man. All hell is broken loose. He's a great broadcaster. He's a very powerful guy. Absolutely brilliant. Feared by men, adored by women. He's a smart boy. It's patriotic. It's no big deal. It's the end of the world. I might as well tell you now. He's a monkey. And how you doing, ladies and germs, bald-headed worms? Welcome into the Wild Side with Eric Clark. I am your not-at-all-humble host, Eric Clark, saying thank you for taking time out of your busy day being awesome to give my little video a watch and a listen. If you like it, like it. If you think other people are going to dig it, give it a share. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and make sure you're following me on all the social media platforms. That way, if there's a band song, video, something you want me to check out, hit me up with a DM. Or leave it in the comments below. If you are going to hit me up with a DM, please, no spamming. Unless it's actual spam, then there's a mailing address down there as well. If you are going to leave it in the comments, join the I Concur Army. The ICA is worldwide and growing. All you have to do is give the comments a cursory glance. If you see that your suggestion has already been made or there's a suggestion that makes you go, all right, all you have to do is like that original suggestion and below reply with I concur. That'll help my old burnout resin coated DJ brain get everything into a sort of organized list and then I can get it into the handy dandy notebook. Also, twice a week we live stream Wednesdays and Saturdays, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. respectively, Central Time here in the United States. Two hours of fun and frivolity, another opportunity for you to get your suggestion, questions, whatever it is you have, get it to me or we can direct you to how you can get it to me in a more direct line. But if you are going to leave me a, a suggestion, please leave a link to the exact version you want. So if you just type in, hey, check out this band, I'm just going to grab the most viewed or whatever I feel like grabbing. So if you want me to react to a specific song, a specific performance, you need to link that to me because YouTube is filled with different versions. So I just want to make sure that I'm getting the correct version that you would like me to to check out. So you got the live stream, you got your social media hookups, you got the comment section. There's all kinds of way for you to get your suggestion to me. I'm a very public dude, not hard to find. Before we get started in today's video, I do want to say thank you to Connect 200, Music to See, and Aunt Betty's Nut Butter. They are proud sponsors of The Wild Side with Eric Clark. Today's video is coming from the live stream. I, I, we were discussing it. I could have sworn that I had done a video for this track. So I went back, looked through all my videos, didn't see it. So today we are checking out Nightwish, a song from Dark Passion Play, Vakken 2013, still on my bucket list, by the way. I do want to go to Vakken and check out everything. Of course, there's Funnel Cake, so I'm all down with that. But today we are checking out Nightwish, Last of the Wilds, Vakken 2013. Here we go. Dude. Already, We're starting already with it.
Big finish. <laughs> Accept more right, types man. of payments with PayPal. All right, dude. There you go. Nightwish with Last of the Wilds Live Vakin 2013. A lot to really unpack there in a relatively short period of time, but that's a Tuomas Holopine and signature, don't you think? That when he can create something that extends for a period of time that doesn't feel like that extended period of time, uh, be, being able to create um something in in which you desire more right so you always feel you know when you listen to something like this when you listen to nightwish what what tuamas is so good with doing you know i call him the 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 heavy metal baker because he just builds these perfect layer cakes of metal and and the way he does it is so is so unique in that almost everything that he creates goes outside of the linear time. So when you look at a song from Nightwish, it says the song is this long. It, it is, you know, five minutes, 34 seconds, six minutes, 20 seconds, whatever. 15 minutes, 30 seconds, whatever. They never feel like that. They always feel shorter, right? Because he's so good about creating the proper layers and measures to take you on that journey and to... to to take you through the ebbs and flows within the song itself. <clears throat> Excuse me. For this song in particular, I wrote down uh, something. They should just change the name to Troy's Jam because that's really what this is. The tone that he creates right off, right from the beginning, there's a hopeful melancholy to that tone. There's a a the instrument he's playing and the tone that he's creating cuts through your pretense and it reaches deep into a nostalgic familiarity and you don't control it you don't even control where you go on that journey of nostalgia so it's going to fire these synapses in your brain and they're going to start triggering these images and you don't control them and that's that's what you want because what you're doing is you're turning yourself over. You're giving up to the, to the moment. You're allowing yourself to fall into the same groove that the band is in. So it, call it a pocket, call it a groove, whatever you want to call it. You know, you, you know you're right when it's not the same page. You're not on the same page. You're in the same groove. You're, you are all turned over to the moment and you are allowing the moment to take you wherever the moment takes you. And that's the brilliance of Tuomas Holopainen is that he builds such a security around you with his music and with the tones that he knows his, not his, that's wrong, I apologize, that the bandmates can create because they're all equal here. I, I don't know, I don't know too many people that can, take what's inside his brain and make it match what he's hearing in his brain well enough to where he believes we can now publish this. We can now put this out there. We can now show the world what it is I have in my head. Now that I've got it put together, let's get it out there to the people. He's so good. And I've said this a lot about his previous songs is that he's so good about making the universal individual. He's so good about creating the the individual motivation to write the song and then being able to absorb the universe around him into that. However you're doing it. So it's absolutely brilliant the way Tuomas understands how to capture you right from the get-go. So as the song builds and the other instruments start to come in and start to add their tone and their flavor, it starts to create this wonderfully layered, tr layered trifle of symphonic, folk, metal, thrash, glam, all of it 
is colliding in this maelstrom of perfect measure and color. So when you're turning yourself over to that, that's why you don't control where you're going. So Troy's tone through his instruments, whether it's the ebo or the the flute, if that's what you want, a piccolo, maybe, I don't know. Again, my concurpas all fill me in with everything down below. Uh, my Sherpas of the I Concur Army, that's what the concurpas are. Uh, so I'll let everybody fill me in down below, but I'm trying to stay on track here. The tone that he creates in that, again, I said it before, it has a hopeful melancholy to it. It, it has the the gloomy day, but you can, you can just feel the warmth of the sun coming through the clouds, right? That's the tone that he's creating with this. So there's a happiness to it. There's a brightness to it. There are the, the positive colors of momentum flowing through that tone. So it's the pinks, it's the yellows, yet surrounding those pinks and yellows are the darker blues and the deeper purples that, that are connected deeper into your soul. So it's, it's, that's the uncontrollability, right? Once it gets to that point in you, you're turned over to it. You're just going where the river takes you at this point. You're just in the current, if you will. So the tone that's being set by, by Troy stays throughout the song and it and it and you follow it right no matter how dangerous it might feel no matter how dark it might get there's still that hopefulness in there there's still those bright colors in there so what Tuamas and Marco were doing on their instruments the bass and the keys they're providing this really cool bridge almost like a, a stargate uh, maybe I can use that. You know, it's like a musical stargate, if you will. So you have this traditionalism, this this beautiful, wonderful, rich, thick, historical legacy tone that's coming through Troy. And you're like, yeah, man, that's it. And then all of a sudden on top of it, he places this, and I wrote down, great crunch and great conflict. Again, Empu, if you're listening, if you're watching, send me a pic, bro. You throw them out to everybody. Could someone get Empu to send me something with all the stuff I've said about him? I mean, seriously, bro, his ability, you know, watching him run up and down, he just reminds me of a cat that I had. I don't, I don't that's not a, that's not a dig, bro. So Empu is the Finnish army knife of guitar playing. And that's not saying that he's a sessions guy that he's a, and I'm not also not saying he's a virtuoso because that's not his tone, right? He's not out there to lay licks and Ingve Malmsteen it. And, you know, he does exactly what he needs to do to create the dichotomy of tone that is happening with Troy. So it's, I wrote great conflict because Troy is taking you in this very childlike, very innocent guileless journey through whatever self-reflection you're going through and you're comfortable, you're safe, you've got those nice colors. And then Empu comes in and it just feels like there's this lightning bolt. It's like, yeah, there's sun and yeah, there's these bright colors, but you can also hear the rumbling coming from the east. And it's a perfect blend. It is a perfect blend. So you're now in conflict, right, with your own tones, with your own emotions within the groove that they're taking you in. Now, I'm not saying this. What I'm getting ready to say has nothing to do with ranking. I'm not saying better or worse. This is, this is not the point. What I'm telling you is I love Yuka's drumming, dude. What he creates, the, it's this manic necessity of innocence. And what I mean by that is, you know, I talk about turning yourself over to the music. And when you watch him play drums, there's no, it's shameless. I know that that may not set right. So allow me a minute, because again, there's, there's a lot to, there's a lot to look at with the, with the layers that are being created. And nine out of ten times, your bridge maker is going to be your bass player and your drummer. So, so usually it would be Marco and Yuka 
creating the connections between Mbu and Troy and, and Tuamas and, and filling in those gaps where needed normally. But this track here, this is Troy and Yuka. This is these two guys just destroying the space of this song and doing it cleanly, doing it emphatically. And like I said, there's this desperation in, in, in his striking. There's this desperation in his playing. It's manic, but it's, it's a very focused mania. And that's what makes him brilliant. You know, I've likened, when we talked about Kai and Yuka in previous videos, I've always said that, you know, Kai is like the pneumatic, you know, the guy, you know, the, the, the pneumatic hammer, right? The machinery. Doom, 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 doom. He's got a pattern. It's got a programming. It's da, da, da. Whereas Yuka is more like animal. It, it's, it's more of a... Again, I, I say desperation. It feels like if you don't sit him in that chair, he may explode, right? Like if you don't let him do that, he may explode. And while he's playing, you still get that feeling. You still have that feeling of, yo, man, I don't think this guy is like, you never feel like he's, he's satisfied. Like he, you can tell he's digging deeper. He's going for more. He's trying to, to get it out of his system. And what makes it so brilliant is that it's the perfect addition to what Troy is doing. It's driving it. It is the cicadic rhythm of this song. And I love watching him play, man. He is, again, manic. It's desperation, but it's focused. So when you're watching him with his fills and his rolls, and I heard a couple of these, you know, I, I heard a double bass roll that was really cool and subtle. And it was, it was right at the perfect point of Empu ending a guitar solo and going back into Troy taking the lead. There was this perfect, it was absolutely brilliant. And then there was a, um, he did a hi-hat or a small, I don't know what they're called, but they look like the tinier cymbals. And he did this cool little fill, this little roll on these little cymbals. And again, it was exactly what was needed, but you can't write that. Right, like you don't write that. Like Tuomas is like, okay, here's where you do, here's where you hit these symbols four times. No, 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 that's coming from Yuka, and I, again, I just, I love watching him play. The the desperation, the mania that's coming through him, and everything is bombastic when it's played. So that's a very well, very well crafted groove that they got into because you had the 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 traditionalism that fed into your infantile security issues but then you also had the darkness and the danger coming through the guitar solos coming through the bass at the end coming through the drums you're getting all of that smashing together in your brain and it's absolutely brilliant the way Tuama structures that because at no point in this track even with the danger even with the innocence even with the mania nowhere in this track do you feel unsafe and that's what you want so again, just another, you know, I, I, I feel like I'm running out of words to impress upon people the importance of watching a performance like this. This is, I've said this before, this is masculine beauty right here. Um, so I've, I've talked about certain rock stars being beautiful, beautiful men. And when you hear the phrase beautiful man, you say, what does that mean? That's what that means. All of these men in this moment were beautiful. They were beautiful people creating beautiful music in front of other beautiful people. Because in this moment, it's all beautiful. And I know, I know it sounds hippy-dippy. I know it sounds, you know, hey man, buy a vegan burger. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is if you allow yourself the journey through something like this. It's a beautiful thing. It creates beautiful colors. It, it brings up beautiful memories. It, it brings up beautiful optimism. The beauty in, in these songs is palpable. So how can you not turn yourself over to it? So, but it's this masculine beauty. You know, it, it's, it's, 
I'm not saying it to try to draw lines with anyone or anything like that, but it's a masculine beauty. And I find it just absolutely brilliant. So thank you very much for the suggestion. Nightwish, Last of the Wilds, Vakken 2013. It's still on my bucket list. Um, I So right now, everybody's talking about coming to Nashville to hang out with me. Uh, maybe after that, I will try to get over to Europe and hang out with all y'all. So I think, you know, it's on the bucket list. It's something I definitely want to do. So um, I'm looking forward to it. And they have funnel cake and corn dogs. So I'm down with that. So thank you very much for the suggestion. If you do have a suggestion for the wild side of video, song, a band, something you want me to check out, hit me up with a DM or leave it in the comments below. All of my links are listed, including the mailing address. If you do have spam or weird food from your country you want me to eat, uh, you can send it to me and I'll eat it on a live stream and tell you what I think about it. So all of my contact info is listed down below. If you, if you can't get a hold of me, I don't know what to tell you, man. I'm, I'm a public figure. So thank you very much for hanging out with me today and watching the video. Thank you to Connect 200, Music to See, and of course, Aunt Betty's Nut Butter. Keep those suggestions coming, and don't forget about the live streams every Wednesday and Saturday, 11 a.m. Wednesday, 2 p.m. Saturday. Two hours of fun and frivolity hanging out on the east side of Music City. Thank you again for taking time out of your day. Make sure you're looking out for each other. Make sure you're looking out for your neighbor. Try to do at least one good thing a day. I am Eric Clark, and this has been The Wild Side. <laughs>